Hello everyone, this is Alan from Technology Moments. Today we're here sharing with you the experience that we had with this 5 gigabit per second networking adapter over twisted pair cable. We were talking about this Wavlink 5 gigabit per second PCI Express network adapter uh, that is compatible with all PCI Express ports and the most important operating systems. Uh, it features a single lane PCI Express interface version 3.1, which is more than enough for the speeds that this networking card is designed to work at. And for those of you who may be looking around a faster than a gigabit Ethernet standard, put simply, it's five times as fast as the most common networking speed of one gigabit Ethernet. So a file transfer that would usually take about 20 minutes, you will have it done in less than five. You have to team up this networking card with the correct hardware so you can get rid of undesired bottlenecks. Okay, so first consideration here. It is not actually like you're gonna get a five gigabit per second switch. Don't even look for it. You're gonna have to go for a 2.5 gigabit per second switch and limit the card to that speed. Or you can get a 10 gigabit per second switch and set its negotiating speed to 5 gigabit per second. Both are great options. Installing this card is very simple, however, you must stick to the traditional method of connecting the card, powering up your computer, and installing the driver for your particular operating system um, that is included in the USB thumb drive. Once you run the installation hardware, it's gonna be properly recognized and ready to be used by the operating system. In the advanced menu of the driver properties in the device manager, you will be able to find options that you might want to check when using in this particular scenario, like jumbo frames, wake on LAN, PXE boot, VLANs, link speed, and more. Before you get this network card, make sure that you have a switch that is capable of handling the data transfer speed that you need. Let's also remember that 5 gigabit per second is gonna be above what a lot of hardware may be able to maintain, not only as reading, but as writing speeds which is more critical, so servers with good performance are the target. Well, of course, gaming computers. You might be able to install it in specific hardware due to compatibility of the PCI Express port, but the rest of the hardware may not be up to the power data transfer that these cards need. As of wiring needed, our recommendation to use in 5 gigabit per second links is to go for at least a category 6 cable. Will 5e work? Yes, it'll work for short distances, but it's not what the standard suggests. Okay guys, hope this video was as informative as it was intended, particularly if you're looking for a fast 5 gigabit per second ethernet card and you want to make an informed decision. See you next time.